Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Eileen. I have a project share for you today. I have several pieces that I've been working on for our Them Crafty Girls uh, Fall and Halloween um, popcorn bucket swap. Okay, um, the swap is officially closed, but this is what I've been working on. I'm not a part of the swap. This is just my uh, project working along with everybody else. So let's start with the fall. Uh, if you missed the live last Sunday, this is what I worked on on our Sunday live on Ebony's channel. I worked on my rosette. It's a huge rosette. And this is the KS Crafts rosette die. Um, I showed it before, but this time I went ahead and put the stickles on the points of the rosette. I added um, some trim from Ebony's shop, the rosette guru. And then I used a doily die in the background. You can see back here. Um, this I forget. I I didn't. I don't have my die with me right now. But it's another die I just picked up off of Amazon. And I cut the purple paper also out of this. Um, it's a nesting size die, so I cut them out of two different sizes. And then these leaves here are the Target Dollar Spot chipboard well not dollar spot it was sold at target i don't remember if it was in the craft section or whatever but it was the bucket and it has fall ephemera pieces um really thick chipboard so i got that on there these are some dollar tree um coffee cups all right let me see if i can find it maybe not <laughs> oh my god my desk is a mess. Oh, here it is, the Crafter's Choice. You guys see these little travel to go mugs. So I just picked three out of the pack, added some stickles to the cup, and then I cut this Hello Fall. This is a KS Craft die. I uh, pulled it out of my stash. I think this is from last year's release. I don't remember. But Hello Fall, and then this little acorn shaker piece is the centerpiece for my my wand so this is one of the requirements i still have to add some trim to the neck part right here and a bow so i'll add that later um i made this i showed this in a previous video i um, gonna put some beads and, st and stuff in there i made this little bracket you could see just a strip of cardstock paper and i chose to use the same background color cardstock and I just made a little holder. It's not even centered on my bucket, but that's what I'm using. It's, it'll be fine. I figured I need to make a second one, probably towards the bottom. So I'll make another one just like that and just glue it into the bottom part so it can hold the wand a little better. So I use the same trim, add it to the front of my popcorn bucket. And this was an ephemera piece that I had pre-assembled. Um, I shared that in a previous video also. But this little piece right here is the acrylic, you know, embellishment piece I picked up from Ebony, also from the Rosette Guru. And I haven't filled in my pockets. Um, yeah, I at, by adding the pockets here, I've created more space that I'm going to have to fill up. So <laughs> we'll see. So these are going to have beads. I'm going to put them into the popcorn bucket. It's not a requirement. It's just extra stuff I want to add. The other requirement is two fully and fully decorated embellishment pieces, fall theme and Halloween theme, the same requirements. So either if you're doing fall or Halloween, that's what you're going to be required to make for your swap partner. Um, embellishment, two embellishment pieces, a memory decks card, the wand and a bucket but you also have to include a sweet treat or some sort depends on you and your swap partner but um this is what i made in the same theme i wanted to play with the ks crafts um ice cream parlor die uh, mini album so i turned this into an embellishment book i shared the cover already in a previous video just want to show it again just in case you're new here and you didn't get to see that it will be in my playlist so there you go i i, I did add stickles 
to the front page. It's uh, these little polka dots here. Those are stickles. And I added stickles on the alpha, the word sentiments. And so the um, during the live, I went and added my pages to the embellishment book. And so I created some pockets. And here are my embellishment pieces. I just um, attached it with some double stick tape and add it to an acetate piece right there you can see it and i'm just going to tuck it into my pocket and here is the second embellishment piece again with the double stick tape and i'm going to tuck it into the second pocket now this also the vellum part is also a pocket but i'll probably make some tags to stick into those pockets and add it to this embellishment book. And then here is my Memdex that I worked on with some of the ladies. Um, if you missed the Sunday Live, you'll, you'll know um, what we did. So here I used a lot of my Dollar Tree chipboard. Actually, these are from Target, right? Yeah, these are pumpkins and the leaves are from Target. They used to, carry them in the dollar spot so yeah this is the tag it was three dollars you get all these wooden pieces it's an old one you get 19 pieces for three bucks man you don't see this anymore and so yeah that's what i did i added it to my ephemera piece i cut out another um mug the same as the cover right here it's a ks craft valentine's day mug I layered that up. I had some trim from Ebony again, her her um, beautiful trim. She recently did this in the last in her last sale. It's got some gold satin ribbon and then that beautiful tool. I uh, used a doily for my stash and I cut it in half. So I put the first half on the back here, the layering piece, and then I add the trim and then the the second half I cut it in half again so you got two triangles and I just folded them so it just give you an idea I did this took my doily cut it in half and then I rolled the doily to create a cone and it just looks like a cute little you know tuck spot so that's what I did I did it on both sides right here and um, I use some of my Tim Holtz, um, whatever, ink pad, I don't know, distressed ink. Um, I layered that onto there. Use some of these leaves I picked up from Daiso a long, long, long time ago. And I finally used it. It looks like this. Mixed fallen leaves from Daiso. And then I used the Love You A Latte from the KS Crafts release. Oh uh, gosh, I think it was April or May, I don't know. It was a coffee theme. I don't remember, I think it was this year. So I used that sentiment, Love You A Latte. And there's the mem deck. So the backside, I created a coffee cup and this is where I would put my information, but I'm just going to add my, um, my sticker one of these stickers right here handmade onto the back of the mug and that will that'll be good enough right <laughs> good enough for me so let me just use some double stick tape and i'm not a participant in the swap i'm just you know crafting along so they got like i don't know i'm not the best crafter but i'm just gonna add you know give them some ideas and there is my little sticker you can see the little holographic laminate so that is what i've got and i created a little pocket i cut the dice the memdex die twice and i just created my pocket just like that and that's what it's gonna look like and i'm just gonna stick it with some dollar tree double-sided foam tape um this one hard to find now so i try to use it sparingly 
And these are what the pages, the rest of the pages look like. I do have some pockets here, and I believe this is a pocket. I turned it to a, oh no, top, top loading pocket. So I'll make a large tag. So once the person receives this, whoever does receive this, you know, I'm gonna make, a, this one is a side loading pocket. I'll make some inserts that they could turn this into a mini album. And then here I need to put some little tags so that I could put some stuff in that little envelope die. So that's my fall theme. And now I did not finish my Halloween theme, but I did load up the box. I have to put one more in here to fill the jingle bells. And then I put some fall looking Halloween color beads just from my stash. I have not made my wand for Halloween yet. So that is the base. I'm not gonna go through the flip book cause that has all the embellishments in it. But um, I will show you this. This is my Memdex for Halloween. I'm using the little foam sticky dots again. And instead of a belly band like I did with the fall, like I put a belly band here, I'm gonna stick my Memdex in the front. Um, the last thing I have to do is create a insert like I did with the fall theme. But this one, I use the paper collection, um, Happy Haunting. Is it Happy Haunting? Yes, Happy Haunting. This is an old Target wood chip, Happy Halloween um, wood chip thing. Uh, these are Dollar Tree clips, you know. Um, I just glued it directly on there, left the clip on so it could have some dimension. Um, this little bat I received in Happy Mail. I colored these up with my um, Nouveau drops and uh, hopefully this will glow. I don't, know, I don't think it'll glow, but it's supposed to be glow in the dark. Um, so yeah, I used that. This little acrylic piece is from Ebony's um, Instagram shop. I also got the trim, which is the candy corn trim add it to that i have some doilies layered up on the back and this little acrylic piece again is from ebony so that is my halloween theme i did not add my insert yet but i'll get to that and i will just stick that literally right on the bucket just like that and that'll be done so i don't have anything on my side pockets and i just have my embellishment book and these little boxes will be inside my popcorn box and that'll be it so that is it guys that's all i wanted to do i just want to come on here and recap what i've been making so far um if you're new here welcome please join the crafty family and hit the subscribe button it is free to join and while you're at it, if you hit the notification bell, that will let you know when I load a new video, just like this, or when I go live on my YouTube channel. So that's it, guys. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Thanks. Bye.